We're developing technologies that would allow us to keep carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere by injecting it underground into geologic formations that could store the carbon dioxide. Most of this work eventually would apply to uh, refineries, power plants, steel mills. And the idea with geologic sequestration is that we could take that carbon dioxide and transport it to locations where we could inject it in deep into the subsurface into rock formations where that CO2 would be free to move but would be trapped by overlying uh, geologic uh, uh, strata. So what we're looking at here are uh, a couple of rock samples that we use to test out how fluid flows through the rock. So this is a sandstone rock and it's been cut in the shape of a cylinder. Um, and what we do is we wrap up these rocks and we uh, put the entire setup inside a high pressure reactor that allows us to flow fluids through the rocks at the high temperatures and pressures that we see in the subsurface. And we set the whole thing up in an x-ray CT scanner so we can take these images while we're flowing carbon dioxide through the rocks um, and we image the, f the fluids uh, moving through the rocks. Uh, those kinds of details are very important for us to know to be able to understand where carbon dioxide will go once we inject it into the subsurface. Uh, carbon dioxide sequestration is one of the few technologies that has the potential to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions on a large scale. And we just want to make sure that we know how to do this in the proper way.